Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We have learned about meter bridge. In this video, we will learn about the potentiometer and also we will see how it is used to find the EMF of a given cell. The device you see here is known as potentiometer. It is used for the accurate measurement of potential difference, resistance and current. It consists of 10 meter long manganin or constant and wire divided into 10 equal segments, each of 1 meter length. The ends of this wire is connected to copper strips provided with the binding screws. Beside this wire, you may find a meter scale attached. The entire setup is placed on a wooden board. Now, this end of potentiometer is connected to a battery or power supply via a plug key. This forms primary circuit. This end of potentiometer is connected to a jockey via high resistance galvanometer and Leclanche cell. This forms secondary circuit of potentiometer. Now I turn on the power supplies. Now we will check whether the connection made is correct or not. For that I press the jockey at one end of the wire. Galvanometer shows deflection at one side. Now I will press the jockey on another end of the wire. The galvanometer shows deflection in the opposite direction. This implies the connection made is absolutely correct. Now I will find the balancing length. To do so, I press the jockey at the center of first segment. Then I move to the second segment. If the galvanometer shows deflection in the opposite direction, it means that the balancing length lies between these two segments. So I move the jockey towards one end till the galvanometer reads zero. At this point, it reads 138.5. This is the balancing length. It is denoted by letter J. Here I have drawn the circuit diagram of potentiometer. The potentiometer wire CD is connected to a battery via a key. This forms a primary circuit. Similarly, Point C is connected to a jockey via primary cell, galvanometer, and high resistance. This forms secondary circuit of potentiometer. Now, if the jockey is pressed somewhere, I consider I have pressed the jockey at this point, represented by letter G. If the potential difference across CJ is equal to the EMF of cell, then no current will flow through galvanometer and it shows zero deflection. It is also called as null deflection. Now at this point, the length of the wire is called as balancing length. We know when two points are at same potential, no current flows through that conductor. So I can say the potential difference across CJ represents the letter V equals to I R L. Here I is the current flowing through the potentiometer wire and R is the resistance per unit length of 
the wire and L is at the balancing length. So it is obtained from Ohm's law. How? Let me tell you. We know Ohm's law. Ohm's law is nothing but V equals to IR. So here I have told you earlier is small r is resistance per unit length. If I use this value here in this equation, what I will get? I will get this. V equals to I small r into here. In the place of R, I write this value. This value is I. In the place of small r, capital R upon L. Then this L is the passage. Then this to get cancelled. What do we obtain is nothing but V is good I R, which is Ohm's law. This is how we, can, we obtain potential difference across two points using Ohm's law. Now I told you earlier here when the potential difference across C J is equal to E M R. If uh, V equals to Z. That is the aim of this cell. Then the above equation will take a new form. Z will become equal to I R L. Here the current flowing through the wire is constant. Resistance per unit length offered by the wire to the flow of current is also a constant. Here I and R is a constant. If it is so, then this equation is IRL will have this two as constant. If it is so, then it takes a new form. Z equals to constant into L. We know when we combine equal to sign with constant, we get a proportionality. So Z is directly proportional to L. This expression gives the principle of potential meter. It uh, clearly explains that EMF of a given cell is directly proportional to balancing length. I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put your questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching.